Good morning guys, um, happy, hopefully this will be a vlog week, a lot is going on. So if I end up having to like miss a day, please don't kill me, I actually don't think I'll miss a day, I think I'll pull through. As of right now, I really want to do it and I really think I can. Also guys, look at my new nails, like, look at my new nails, ignore the cut, that's from Fitz, but like, this is probably the best thing that ever happened to me. This weekend was, um, not the best weekend, I, last vlog I said I'm taking a social media break, gonna be a great weekend blah 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 but you know just life happened I have been doing schoolwork all morning um actually it's almost like 2 or 3 p.m. because my summer courses end this week my last semester I actually just registered for the last semester of senior year classes um I'm like on a weird thing to where like this semester is my last year of senior year like it's basically a semester behind but just the way like everything transferred and stuff I graduate this fall essentially I'm like behind a semester Anyways, I just decided to take a break. I ordered some DoorDash for lunch and I'm actually going to deep clean my room and just my house because that always makes me feel better. And I'm gonna have like a relaxing kind of afternoon routine and take you guys with. But I am gonna be doing a lot of cleaning and I wanted to take you guys along for that. So, look, I even have, there was a huge storm last night so I threw all of my like beach towels and stuff that were outside. But, oh my gosh, they match my nails. In here and like my closet, guys, is literally like the worst it's ever been. Um, I'm in the middle of like cleaning my, um, hi Coco, uh, I've been the meeting, I'm in the middle of cleaning my like sheets and all of that, down yeah, the Brooklinen sheets and stuff, guys, best ever, I will link them down below, I will link all of my bedding down below, Barefoot Dreams, Parachute Home, my normal comforter is Parachute Home and then I have a Buffy comforter underneath with the Brooklinen cover, seriously, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Also, these, um, lip glosses I just got in the mail this weekend, they're so good, I've been using the clear one. But they're like, I feel, I think that they are like some sort of coconut oil base. I'm not really sure, but it's so moisturizing and soft, unlike any lip glosses I've ever used. I just like love them. Last thing, I've been absolutely loving this perfume. So it's from the brand West Third brand, and then it is the scent Band of Outlaws. Literally incredible. It really does sound, I, I almost said it sounds like Lilabo. It really does smell like Lilabo, but it is a fraction of the price. So good. This is probably like my favorite perfume I've ever had. And I love the packaging and I just think it's great. So I will link it down below. I ordered some DoorDash. I will have a $15 link down below. I did put my bedding on. I put my bedding on just to realize that the bedding hadn't actually been cleaned, so I need to go take this back downstairs. But I have my DoorDash food. I will leave a link down below where you guys can get free food as well. It's a beautiful thing. By the way, guys, this Dyson V8 vacuum the is Honestly, probably one of my best buys in my 20s. I kind of want to make a video on my best buys in my 20s and I'll do like home, like skincare, all that stuff. I actually should start playing that today. But anyways, this is the V8 Absolute. I think they go up to a V11 right now. I, these are definitely pricey. They last for forever and they are like next level. Um, so if you're like looking to spend a lot of money on a vacuum, I know it's really exciting things about adulthood, I would definitely recommend. Um, but if not, obviously like just get a normal vacuum, guys. I really wanted this in particular because I have a townhouse, so I have like two sets of staircases. So it just makes cleaning that much easier for me because I don't have to like keep plugging it in and all that stuff. And actually this vacuum is so much better. So I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but I actually, but I have the V8 Absolute. I really, really love it. I didn't really find it necessary to get the latest, newest one. And this one was on sale um, when I got it, but. I feel so gross. I just scrubbed my bathroom. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and probably self tan. Um, it's like 3.30, it's a very weird time of the day. I just have the worst headache ever. So I'm gonna shower and just figure that out. These are all the white, these are all the glasses that I need to take home, guys. Okay guys, I'm out of the shower. I just self tan. It always gets crazy on my face, I think, just because like the texture is different, but I have to leave it for eight hours. It'll be like this in the remainder of the vlog. I use the dripping gold self tanner. I started using it because Julia Havens um, recommended it and I really like it. I, I will link it down below. It definitely on my face, like how it looks crazy, it won't be like this. And then it goes on just like a little bit tanner than my normal skin tone. It's not anything like crazy. This is not sponsored. Um, this is the Function of Beauty Hair Serum. So I am working with them on my podcast, so I can put um, a link down below if you guys want to try other stuff. 
I love Function of Beauty. Like, I love their stuff. Again, this sounds like a deal, it's not my promise. This is the first time I'm trying out the serum. And I'm really into hair serums, and this is more of like a gel consistency. So that's interesting. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm using a little bit more than I would use of my normal way hair serum, so like, or hair oil. Um, so maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Maybe I'll regret it. But guys, this stuff smells so good. Like, I just want to keep putting it in my hair. My hair does not hold fragrance, like, at all. Fun fact, guys, I have a really, really bad sense of smell. Being cool, too free, all that link down below my podcast. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Pretty sure it's 20% off of your first order, though, so. I feel so incredible now. I actually just door dashed another thing. I have credit. This is why, but I'm not just going crazy. Um, I just like don't feel my absolute best, but that's just because I waited until 3 p.m. basically to eat. So this smoothie will make me feel better. Guys, I'm still loving this arrangement. I copied someone on Instagram. It's just roses and hydrangeas, but I just love it. Having fresh flowers in your house, just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It just puts you in the best mood, or maybe just me, but I am losing my mind over this year of our stuff that they just sent me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna wear it to coffee in the morning, but honestly, it might be too hot with, well, I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. So freaking cute. I want the matching um, shorts to this as well. I love how this sports bra is this texture, but it's a little bit bigger and not just like super thin because I love the look, but it doesn't really work on me. I love this. And that is so cute. I've never had anything from Year of Ours and I want to try out a lot of their sets because Daylight like swears by Year of Ours. Um, this is the ribbed Gia bra in magenta and then this is the Teddy legging in magenta, but guys literally so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, I ordered this lemon cake. They gave me the wrong lunch on DoorDash. So anyways, then I ended up ordering the smoothie. I'm gonna try to eat this. It just like doesn't sound good to me right now and I need to chug water as well. And then um, answer a few things on my computer. You know, when you just have like the worst headache, it's like 5 p.m. now and I just want to call it a day. Basically, a few things. Oh, I finished Midnight Sun over the weekend. So if you guys are not aware, I have a book club now. Um, and by that, there's a Facebook group, our Facebook group, which we're just talking about in there. And then every month on the podcast, I will do a solo episode. And then at the end of the solo episode, I'll do a recap kind of of the book. So it'll be... As of right now, I'm thinking it's going to be like the last half of the episode will be talking about the book. But I finished Midnight Sun, which is the new Twilight book. I know it is like literally 10 years later, but or 12 years later, I think, from the last release. Because Twilight was 2005, then 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so it's literally 12 years later. Oh my gosh, I actually really loved it. I kind of like that I read it 12 years later. Well, I guess I probably, I was a senior in college and I read Twilight when I was in fifth grade, which also seems like really young to have read Twilight, but I know for sure it was fifth grade. How getting into my like book review that I'm gonna do on the podcast, I really liked it and it's Edward's perspective of Twilight. I'll have it linked down below too. I'm like really talking with my hands now that I like my nails. I'm literally like Disney Channel, like da 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 da, you know. Comment down below what book we should do next for the book club for September. One book that I'm looking at that Maddie from OK Sis suggested because she wants to come on, I want her to come on. I had to go to the pharmacy yesterday and there were all of the magazines out and they literally had a Twilight magazine out, like all about Twilight. It literally felt like I was back in 2012. I'm trying to think of other things I need to catch you guys up on. Okay, so this week is gonna be fun. Tomorrow's like a normal, more full day um, in the life. I'll probably talk about this more tomorrow because I'll actually submit my last assignments, but I'm finishing up my summer classes tomorrow. They're all due. And then next week, my last semester of senior year starts. So, do it in session. So like there is a chance it'll be done by October, but I think that one of the classes that I'm taking isn't offered in session A, so I will be done in December. And then I will have my bachelor's. Also, I've been seeing a lot of people doing vlogs, like Brooke did one, uh, by a lot of people, I know I've seen a lot of people, and I don't know why I'm only remembering Brooke, about um, like living alone and just kind of spending time alone. I've lived alone for like quite some time, um, and I have gotten so many questions to do a video on that, but I just didn't really feel like I had much to say, and then I watched hers, and I was like, okay, this would've been a great video for me to do like three years ago. But also, just like the topic of spending time alone, I think, quarantine has really been such a good thing because yes I'm with my boyfriend a lot but like there's also been like a long period of time where I wasn't with him and it's actually been such a good thing because there are definitely times where I'm afraid to kind of spend time by myself because I'm like okay what problems are gonna arise or like I'll think too much or you know whatever get in a weird headspace and um, spending time alone in quarantine has actually gotten really great to the point where I would actually prefer to just myself all the time. So I don't know how good that actually is. But for people who really don't like spending time alone, I would really recommend picking up like a hobby that you like doing by yourself. So like for me, reading really has become like 
quite the hobby at this point but i'm always wanting to just like cuddle up actually with a smoothie and a book like that's my favorite thing to do that's been really helpful um obviously i work from home and i work for myself so that's been good but I also have found a few new shows and new podcasts that I really like. I always like my routine in my house and just kind of having everything set up. And I don't know. It's been good. But um, anyways, I just wanted to like briefly touch on that because I know a lot of people have been doing videos about that. And like Brooks is really great. If you guys are looking for a video that's like about living alone and spending time alone, Brooke has, had, Brooke has um, posted some on her channel. Personally, just like absolutely love it. And it's been really great. I also wanted to share some jewelry I got over the weekend. I also got an anklet, and that's probably my favorite thing out of this little jewelry haul, but I don't remember where I put it. First, we have this chain necklace that's really cute. It just has a little gold locket. Um, I love that. I love just having a lot of gold necklaces to layer. And then we have hoops and this ring. So these match. This right here is the ring, and then these are hoops. They're kind of like mid-sized. Also, I said I would give you guys an update on the Blackheart Jar products that I've been using. So. I already knew that I loved the Tiger Grass line. I hadn't tried these specific products, but I have had um, the jar. If you guys really, really struggle with redness, get the jar. It's definitely the thickest, but it evens out your skin tone so beautifully. It basically blurs out your skin and gets rid of all the redness. It's just the best thing that ever happened. This Tiger Grass Calming Mist is the best mist I have ever, ever, ever used. I cannot even like describe it to you enough. It's just next level. It almost feels like you're spraying on a gel that is just like cooling your skin immediately. I've just, I've never used anything like it. I definitely like the gel as well. So it kind of just depends. And then I did get this Dr. Jart Priming Moisturizer that I've really been liking as well. So these are better to use when I'm just paler. And then I just kind of use this on a normal every day. Um, it's really great. I don't wear a lot of makeup, especially just kind of like face makeup, but if I do put face makeup over, I really like how it lies on top of this. If I do put face makeup over, I really like how it lies on top of this. Okay, the next thing, guys, this is probably my holy grail right now. It's the Ordinary Squalene. This stuff is legit $7, guys. I will link it down below, and it is just absolutely next level. It is so hydrating. And then I use this tool. I'll link down a similar one to just depuff my face, and it is, like, next level. It is just so great. If you guys have, if you guys wake up and your face is really puffy, you need one of these. Um, even keep it in the fridge if you can, and then put on, like, a hydrating oil. Like, this squalene is, like, perfect. And then... Use this. You guys can watch my recent morning routine to see how I use this together, but it is just literally this is the best thing ever. I also wanted to show you guys the podcast that I've been listening to. Okay, mainly, I mean, okay, sis, always love morning toast, always love. Battle Ready is my current favorite. Just seriously, anything the McManuses do, I absolutely love. Um, I love Ernie McManus. I think he's just incredible, but their podcast is so great it's him and his son aaron and they also have a show called mcmanus on the hillsong channel i recently actually got a subscription so i could watch it and it's really good they talk a lot about like not agreeing with people but still loving them and that has definitely been extremely hard for me in 2020 um and yeah so that's been good looky there we need go listen uh, we have a new actually we have quite a few new episodes up this is my podcast if you guys didn't know i need to do new cover art Please let me know. I'm like waiting to do a shoot with this pink cowboy hat that I ordered two months ago, so we'll see. Mood is one of my favorites. I love Lauren, obviously, as we know. Um, the living room, guys. So basically, this is my Patreon, which is just like a faith-based Patreon. We do a bunch of different content, different videos, um, podcasts, all of that stuff. You guys can sign up down below. But apparently, you can do the like, audio file, like do something with your RSS code, and then it looks like just a normal podcast. But it isn't just a normal podcast; it's just like podcast style episodes. I like the girl, but I don't listen to it that much. Love and my light. Um, I okay, guys. Sophia Bush has a podcast. Can we just talk about that really quickly? She has the most soothing voice ever, and I love her. She's great. Brene Brown has a recent has a new podcast. Great, Super Soul Sunday, so good. Obviously, Skinny Confidential. I love that sounds fun. Oh, I should actually really listen to this in the morning. I just really, really love Annie F. Downs. She's just one of my favorites. Okay, I want to also just give you guys a quick little update on books that I have been reading. The first one is Rhythms of Renewal. I actually haven't, I just kind of have been picking up random books, not random, but like I'll have a nonfiction and a fiction read. This one is really, really good. Um, I'm almost done with it. I read, and I think I read like I read over 50% of it in like one sitting and a few hours, so that's really good. 
this book um not to get political obviously i well not obviously apparently but i'm just definitely not a fan of trump as we probably know this book is really interesting though so it's his one and only niece and she i believe she's like a psychologist or something i started this last night uh, it's really interesting she just talks about their upbringing and their families and it's just you always are like how did so and so turn out this way it's it's really interesting to read um i would recommend i would recommend the book honestly it's really good i know a lot of people have been talking about it on social media as well um okay i got the hating game sample because i know maddie loves it and maddie and i always love the same book so i might even read that tonight i don't know finished midnight sun so good got the barbarian way by erwin mcmanus because that was on sale so i'm gonna read that soon um, the guest list. Beach Read, guys, Beach Read was so freaking good. The cover does not do it justice. This book is incredible. It's so good. Basically, it follows two writers who are writing. They are end up being next door neighbors. They have a history, blah, blah, blah. It sounds cheesy. It's honestly really, really good. I still haven't read Educated, which I want to read, and I still haven't read Seven Husbands. Back to Flourish. A lot of these um, percentages on these books is wrong because I will go back to get the cover. Swear on This Life is really good. That's Renee Carlino. I had her on my podcast. Um, yeah, I feel like I've talked about a lot of these other books, but anyways, I read on my Kindle Oasis. I read literally all the time, like at least probably like two or three books a week, but my Kindle makes it so much easier and I just literally love it. Every single night, it does not matter. I read before I go to bed and I have probably since at least for like six months at this point. Like it's just my number one daily ritual I have to read before. It just like gives me something really good to look forward to at the end of my day. It also just kind of relaxes me. I'm not on my phone at all. It's just like my favorite hobby. So it is literally 8 p.m. and I'm like going to go to bed. I mean, I'm gonna read and then go to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, the rest of vlog week will definitely be better. I'll be giving you guys a lake house tour, which is exciting. Normal like Texas day in my life vlog. Um, it'll be really, it'll be good. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you soon.